a multi-purpose amenity that is also easy to use a full-blown home inside a pickup truck a true home on wheels that you can actually use off the grid for the zealous vagabond in you Hello adventure lovers and welcome back to a brand new episode of the walk through the conversion. This is your host Vidushi. If you're new here and are just hopping on to the overlanding caravanning culture in India, then we are proud to tell you that Motorhome Adventures is a three decade old company that rents and builds all thing home on wheels and more, ranging from a club on wheels, election campaign vehicle, arcade on wheels, and of course, caravans, RVs, motorhomes, you name it, and we can most definitely build it. In today's episode, we will be walking through an upgraded version of our good old Vagabond. If you do not know, Vagabond is a slide-in pop-up pickup conversion that we launched back in 2022. While the conversion we'll be walking through today, being a flatbed hard top conversion is different, but it is an extreme version of the Vagabond series. Thus, the name Vagabond Zealot, a caravan for the zealous Vagabond in you. So without further ado, let's walk through this conversion. So here we have it, the star of today's show, the big little beast, Vagabond Z series. Now, before we actually walk through the conversion, a quick tangent here. There has been a lot and lot of speculations about Motorhome Adventures conversion costs being very high, super high, which I can tell you is not the case. So in this walkthrough, in this episode, just to avoid those speculations, we are also going to be sharing the basic customization costs. So if you're someone who's interested in knowing that, stick to the very end of the video as for the conversion first of all we are going to talk about the details that you do not see but you do feel over the time so this is something that i had briefly talked about in the tata yodha based conversion but over the time the more and more conversions we are seeing online be it by the people who are maybe diying it or by newly established companies the more important it becomes to share this fact. This segment is for the people who are cheaping out on the conversion costs, thinking that it won't make any difference. It is for the builders, for the fabricators who are actually eliminating this step to then have high margins. Hopefully, we hope that sharing this fact is going to tell you how important a good quality customization is and this is going to be the reasoning behind why a conversion that looks similar on the outside may be very different than another cheaper version of it. So to understand this, we need to get acquainted with a little bit of physics here. So whenever you are traveling in a car or even a bus for that matters, whenever you encounter a bump, whenever the vehicle jumps, the person sitting on the rear feels that jump more in comparison to the person who's sitting on the front. And that is the exact case with the vehicle itself. That means whenever you encounter a bump, the pressure, the jerk is going to be felt more on the rear end in comparison to the front end. Now these companies that provide us the pickup truck, they also provide us a trunk. That trunk comes with a XYZ load capacity. And what we are doing when we are converting a pickup truck into a camper van is that we are adding a lot of excess weight on the overall base. Now, this weight that we have on the base is something that's going to be there permanently. This is not something that's temporary. This is not something that you're going to be unloading after every use. It is going to be there at all times. So what you have done is that you have pinned down that whole weight on the base without any support. I mean, yes, you have bolted it, you have latched it perfectly, but is that 
enough. This is something that I have seen most, if not all the people who are DIYing or influencers who have just become fabricators and are fabricating maybe their or other people's caravan. This is something that I have seen all of them do. You may be thinking, how is this going to be harmful for me? How is this going to be a problem? And how, what for shall I spend more money on in this regards? Now, circling back to our physics lesson, what happens when you pin down a great amount of weight on a certain section? When you have a chassis on which you have not added any kind of support and you're just putting down that weight, with every bump, with every jump and jerk you have, you're going to give pressure to the particular point of the chassis. No matter how equally the weight has been distributed, no matter how wide the base is, the pressure is always going to be falling on one end. And what that is going to be doing over the time is that that is going to break your chassis. Because that is something, if you have a constant pressure on one end of the vehicle, then that is going to be breaking your chassis. And minded guys, we have seen this happen with these conversions that are cheaper in terms of the costing, but these are very small nitty gritties that they do not add. Now that we have your attention, you must be thinking, how can I stop my vehicle from getting killed over time? Which brings us back to the point of this segment at Motorhome Adventures, what we do. And in fact, it is a standard procedure worldwide for all the pickup conversions that is necessary to be followed. So how we do it is, in comparison to other people wherein they are just adding that weight on the chassis, here we have buffer dampers that are connected first of all with the chassis and on top of that we have these auto grade aluminium C channels that we put on top of those dampers. So the dampers absorb the shock, they have rubber all around, they are absorbing the overall shock that we have on the vehicle and on top of that we are also putting these C channels that are heavy duty channels. Now whatever the weight of the shell you have you need to double up on the channels weight or load capacity. For example if you have a one ton shell then you need to have a channel that can take a payload of up to two ton so that you are having a double duty kind of setup. I hope this was helpful for you. I personally feel like whenever there is a cheaper option available, people often pivot to that cheaper option. Even if the difference is very tiny bit, they still offer that cheaper option. And oftentimes, the cheaper option is cheap because of some reason, which we may not know because we are not too educated in that department, but that is definitely the case. So at Motorhome Adventures, we are not some company who came into the business of building out of the blue. We are not some bus body builders or builders who started this venture just because it was trending. This experience of 30 years that we have has a lot and lot of ups and downs. This has come to us after a lot and lot of experiments, failures and successes. So. We can never do you dirty by providing you cheap customizations. Going on a budget is definitely a possibility. We can tell you that X, Y, Z are the amenities that you can emit or eliminate to have it in your budget. But at the same time, providing you a cheaper customization, cutting down on the quality is not something that we can do. So now you know, if you are choosing Motorhome Adventures, this is what you're signing up for. Well, that was very deep, but it was definitely very, very necessary because over the time, these unsafe conversions that we've been seeing, these are not good for the people who are traveling. So I hope this segment was helpful for you. Now coming back to the actual conversion, another detail that you cannot see is the air balloon suspensions that we have custom fitted in this asset. And these suspensions, the air balloon, these function through a 12 volt DC oil-based 
compressor that has a 10 bar pressure. So this compressor that we have not only provides the air to the air balloon but also once you connect this little thing from this valve it is also going to be filling up the air of your tire. So in case you have a tire that has less air you can do the inflation deflation of it and another thing of course that this comes in handy for is to open or shut the valve of the septic tank so that is that about the things that we cannot see So here we have Zealot painted in a cosmic black color and as you can see we are going to talk about the standard details first of all. Here you can see unlike Domicile which is another pickup based conversions that we launched in 2023 in that we had a complete front fascia design. So we had a metal bumper, we had a winch on top of that and whatnot. In this one client wanted to keep it pretty simple so that is what we have done. Now this vehicle itself is a second hand vehicle so here also the client wanted to save up on some of the amount and instead wanted to invest that amount into the fabrication so this is a 2018 isuzu v-cross on which we have done certain upgrades to the vehicle as well as the complete caravan conversion circling back to the actual conversion the exterior so you can see we have standard caravan lights five on the front five on the rear on the top we have the 200 watt solar panel you do have the provision of upgrading to a 500 watt solar panel but in this one we have added the 200 watt ones then coming to this side so we have the driver side here you can see it's pretty much simple we have sliding windows to give the access from inside because the client wanted to have these kind of sliding windows other than that you'll notice usually in our conversions we have an outdoor shower right here but in this case we do not have one here so this right here is our inlet to a 210 liters freshwater tank we also have a 45 liters black water tank that's stored underneath remember all the water tanks are always 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 going to go under never on the top of the vehicle right here we have our LPG gas geyser so this is not a permanent setup you're not going to be keeping this out and about at all times this is something that we have hanged through this hook right here so other than that we also have a spare tire and on top of that spare tire we have a bicycle carrier that can take up to three bicycles speaking of this LPG gas geyser in here you have the connections of the LPG the hot and cold water so how you go about it is you simply push this valve and then in goes your pipe now keep in mind that these walls are also heavy duty walls that we use coming to the other side we have a custom built ladder that is going to give you the access to the rooftop and right under here we have the grid so whenever you are not off the grid whenever you are in the grid you have the electrical outsource available you are simply going to be opening this and you are going to be connecting the electrical outsource that you have what that is going to be doing is that's going to give your vehicle power without it needing to be turned on and you can use your ac etc etc throughout the duration throughout the night another thing that we have done in this one is that we have provided two alternators so one is for the vehicle another one is for the rest of the salon area what that is going to be doing is whenever you're using the abilities on a battery even though you're going to be exhausting that one section your engine still is going to be able to get started because you have two alternators so this is something this is a very little addition that you can do even in your vehicles if you do not want to ever wake up to an engine that does not turn on coming to the co-driver side i've already told you how this air compressor or the 12 volt dc compressor that we have is going to be functioning right on the top you can see we have the awning so this is a bit different than what we usually provide in our conversions we have to first unzip it then we have to open it and then we have these pipes so 
this is how it works you simply then set it up and you can pitch it to the ground so this is going to be sturdy enough but if it's windy you'll definitely have to do something about that but in this case the client wanted to have this kind of awning and that's why we have provided that right there you can see we have a strip light which is the LED light which we won't be able to see in the daytime So coming to our cabin, in the cabin, you can see that we have changed the overall seating. So this tan color is something that we have customized in the HQ. Apart from that, in the cabin area, we have added this Android screen, which is also going to be giving you the 360, the bird eye view, because client wanted to have that kind of 360 cam. We have also added that. Apart from that, we have also upgraded the music system as well as added an amp in this asset. Now, another detail that I want to show you is right here. We have our rear seating section. As you can see, this is unlike the original setup that we do get. So here we have added this cushioning in between, which is going to make this a comfortable enough area. Now, another thing that you can see is that there is a hard partition in here. And we are in a minute, we are going to be talking about how this partition is going to be working. But right now you can see it's a completely blocked out partition. So you don't have any access to the cabin area. And now finally, into the salon area we go. So first up, entering the salon space, you can see we have the similar ladder that we had in domicile. So these panels are going to be dropping down. Yeah. So you drop the first panel, the second panel comes down. Then you have a grab handle right here and a latch on the top, opening which we are going to now finally enter our conversion. So right when we enter, we are greeted with a very warm color palette. So we have the teak wood, we have the gray color, we have white and up here also we have the teak wood. But what I do want to speak about first of all is the overall height that we have in here. So as you can see, I am 5'6"-ish. We have a great height here. And in terms of width, this is approximately six feet. So that is what we have in here. Speaking of the first amenity of this conversion, which is going to be the bathroom area, if you are new on our channel, building bathroom on wheels is in fact our USP. We have done so for many buses of various paramilitary services, be it ITBP, CRPF, etc. etc. So the kind of bathrooms that we build are built on reinforced fiber panel material. What that does is basically number one, it is very lightweight. Secondly, it is all weather friendly and thirdly it is very easy to maintain so with a single swipe you can clean it and maintain it now into the bathroom we go so in this washroom customization you can see we have the same old fiber enforced material apart from that the hardware that we have has been powder coated in black now you can see here we have an frp sink which also is holding our shower setup apart from that we have a soap holder we have a shampoo dispenser we have a toothbrush holder a grab handle and here we have the louver window on the top so you can simply open or shut it whenever required on the very top you can see we have an led light which is on top of the teak wood or rubber wood apart from that we have these curtains so in case you do not want to get the asset dirty you can simply open up these curtains now a thing that we have changed in this conversion is the commode area. Usually in our conversions, the kind of commode that we get is the one wherein we use very less water per flush. So the water that we use in our PAV based commodes is approximately 300 ml per flush. And the ones at your home, the ceramic toilets use is approximately 15 liters per flush, which is a huge difference, especially when you're not on the grid, especially when you're not sure when and where you 
you're going to get the water supply as for this one here we have a pedal base flush so this is the first time that we have provided this kind of bathroom or the kamur you simply keep a foot on it and that is going to be flushing so that is a wrap on the bathroom area now exactly on the opposite end is where we have our kitchen space i know this is going to be a pet peeve for many of you guys that the washroom and the kitchen area are adjacent to each other but guys you need to know that you are going to be sacrificing something or other especially when you're opting for this kind of compact smaller conversion so that is something that we had to deal with with this conversion so speaking of the kitchen the first detail that we have is right here we have our complete electricity panel so wiring that we use is heavy duty fire retardant havels wires never cheap out on the wires guys this is something that's going to be very very hazardous if you ever cheap out on this thing so coming to the setup here we have our mc turning it on our lights are going to be turned on here you can see we have a rubber wood countertop which has been polished it gives a really really cool look and this cut out right here is number one giving you more space on this side but also it has been smartly done so that when you're entering because you have a bathroom on the other side you do not feel like it's very clustered out so this cut out is a really good addition the frp sink has been covered up using this panel which is also going to be used as your cutting board apart from that we have a faucet we have the drinking water tap the system of which has been stored underneath right here speaking of the storage we have ample room throughout so a deep enough storage again thanks to the abstract design that we have given then in this one we have our 5 liters blast proof cylinder stored in this right here is a fridge on the top we have more storage and more storage right here now you'll see that to avoid the heat to avoid the overall rupturing of the walls or the panels what we have done is we have provided these auto grade aluminium borders on the borders end and additionally what you can also do is opening this top hung you get enough ventilation but another detail that we have added this time is this mosquito net so it latches down through a magnet and what this is going to be doing is basically whenever you're cooking out and about and you do not want mosquitoes or insects to enter in this is going to save you from that so that is that for the kitchen area coming to our other section which is the seating area here we have a huge tv and tv is not something that i'm a big fan of especially inside these compact conversions but that is something that we have in this asset speaking of the standards on the interior we have a 1.1 ton static ac we have an auto ac we have fans on each side of the bedding we have reading lights the usb port as well as heavy duty speakers now coming to the almost final space of this conversion which is the bedding area So we are now on the top bed and I'm going to lie down and show you how much space we have in here so I can easily sleep it is approximately 6 feet I'd say in terms of the width and even if I were to sleep this way I do have enough room in this conversion i'd like to point out that we have not added any kind of length to the overall conversion so it is the original dimension of this whole trunk within which we have created this conversion other than that you can see even the front cabin section is something that we have not increased or added the length to so that is that about this bedding now we're going to be talking about the rear section which is going to be our seating area we are now almost on to our final space so this is the seating section that we have it is going to be a tight space but the client has got this built for himself his partner and his daughter so i think those three people can easily get accommodated in the asset we have one people two people and three people seating area the storage on that side is something 
that holds. So we'll have to remove all these details. And once we remove this cushion, you can see this storage is the one which holds your battery. So as I said, we have 130 AH batteries. You do have the room to increase the batteries if required. I'm now going to be closing this back up. So accessing the storage is very easy in this case. And now speaking of the other side, which is where we have ample room to store your luggage bags. So the client wanted to have a hard partition. As we showed you in the beginning of the video, the cabin is completely hard partitioned from the rest of the vehicle. And that was done because the client was worried at times when they are going to be giving this vehicle for service, people should not see what's there in the salon area. This area should be private. Or at times when some other person is driving the vehicle, it should not be approachable to other people. It should be completely private. So he mentioned that he wanted to have a hard partition. So what we did, we'll first have to remove this. We'll have to unbolt these, push these up on the top. And then once we push this section, as you can see, this is going to give you the access to the cabin area. Now, another thing, so if you want to remove this complete partitioning here, what you simply do is you take out this little thing here and using the pole that we have right here, I'm going to be attaching it. We're going to be taking the setup back to this end. We are going to be locking these back up and this section is going to go right in here we are now going to be keeping our dining area right here and we can also bring the bedding and voila we have our table section this same table is going to be converting into your bedding area so this whole table is going to go down under and this is going to be converted into a bedding area for six people we'll quickly do that so this section is going to get attached right here and same goes for the other side so you connect it from right here and you're going to be requiring the cushioning that's usually your back support which you put up here and that other one goes here which converts this whole area into a bedding or a night plan speaking of the night plan there's one more detail that we have in here so usually the conversions that we create all of those have the pull down blinds but in this one we have provided the first one you already know the mesh blinds which is magnetic it latches on to the other side and then the other one that we have is the honeycomb blinds so you have a double system as you can see the honeycomb ones are going to be providing you complete blackout throughout the vehicle when it's very sunny or if you want it to be pitch black and these the mosquito nets are going to be helpful in case you are at a location where there are a lot of insects now on to the very last amenity of this conversion which has something to do with this table but before that let's put this setup back on another few details that i did not talk about is this storage right here so in case you want to store your books magazines and whatnot you can do so this is a teak wood rubber wood kind of fixture that we have provided in here and now we're going to take this table with the table setup on the outside setting up the final piece of our conversion so the same old table so this attachment that i showed you in the beginning you're going to be carefully placing it right in here and then you simply undo this increase the height 
put it on a certain height that you require. And voila, your seating setup is ready. So that is that for this conversion. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this a big thumbs up because that tells us that you do like the conversion. And if you're interested in living the dream, if you're interested in making your vagabond self get comfortable even when you're traveling then that is something that we can do for you you can bring your asset for a major minor any sort of customization and if you are interested you can visit our website that's www.caravanconversion.com on the other hand if you're dubious about if you want to invest in such kind of an asset then you can surely try it by renting it for rentals you have curated travels you have customized itineraries we currently have a trip to ladakh planned out i think by the time this video is out you're surely going to see some clips and bits of that trip but if you're interested in renting you can always visit our website that's www.motorhome.co.in and now we're on to the very last detail that we had promised in the beginning so if you are looking for a pickup kind of conversion the basic to basic costing starts from 16.5 lakh onwards that's INR 16.5 lakh and that is for the very basic version that we have you do have the option of even downgrading certain amenities from that or upgrading certain amenities like we have in Zealot so that I hope gives you a fine input as to the conversion cost you guys keep on asking that to us and we keep on telling you guys that each customization has a different price point because each client each person who wants to create this home on wheels has a different taste and wants different amenities and different kind of textures but if you are interested in building now you know the price the basic pricing as I said starts from 16.5 lakh onwards so that is that about this conversion if you liked the zealot series be prepared there is a lot in the motor adventures arsenal that's coming as always thank you so much for your support it really means a lot say subscribe to our channel for we will be posting many more fun conversion and travel videos in the home away home on wheels motorhome adventures signing off